what is going on YouTube today we're gonna to look at those chicken bites now as you could tell from yesterday's video I was kind of impressed with the chicken I felt the bread took away from the sandwich uh, since then I tried that again and I put some butter on the bread in order to try and make it a little bit better and it helped a little bit especially that with the mayonnaise but anyway let's look at these chicken bites Here's some of the nutritional information, and we are going to use the heating instructions for microwave, simply because I do not feel like waiting that long to put these in the oven. Anyway, the serving size is four pieces, and uh, these pieces look pretty big, so we're going to go ahead and follow the serving size suggestions and uh, fix four of them at a time. And here we are. You put them in for a minute, you take them out, flip them over, put them in for another minute. So two minutes, here's what you got. They smell good and they look good. Let's just see how they taste. Hoping they taste like Chick-fil-A nuggets. They're good. They have their own taste to them. It's not a Chick-fil-A nugget. Nope. Nope. Like I said, good. Nice taste to it. I'd eat them. I'd eat a lot of them. But it's not a Chick-fil-A nugget. Not going to replace a Chick-fil-A nugget. It really only matches them in appearance. And it's not a bad thing. They, like I said, they taste good. And they taste different from stuff like Tyson and uh, Purdue. They have a nice seasoning to it. I get where they're coming from with the whole Southern style. But it's not a Chick-fil-A nugget. sauce. Fortunately, I got me a Chick-fil-A sauce. This is Zesty Buffalo. See, I don't need sauce for Chick-fil-A nuggets. Give them some sauce. You won't go wrong. Serving size of four. I can see why. There's a lot of meat inside. That's good. That's um. That's gonna do it for this uh, chicken saga for this week. So I'll see you tomorrow. Signing out.